Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen, Coach Evans here. And in today's video, I want to start with a question. Have you ever run into someone whom you had known in the past, but some time has gone by and you two had not physically uh, seen each other? And this time, when you see them, things are a little bit different. You find yourself being attracted to them in a way that you are not in the past. Either the conversations flow a little bit better, you find them a little bit more appealing, a little bit sexier, and all these feelings are brand new uh, when it comes to this particular person, but you have known this person, let's say, for some years in the past. So what's actually happening here? I love this because this is a really good example of timing is everything in life. It's not like this person was not there in the past. This person was there, but at that particular time when you two had known each other, your values were not aligned to hers in a way that you cannot even explain right now. Given the fact that you had known this person in the past, but these feelings of attraction were not there, tells you exactly what I want to illustrate in this video today, where when you meet someone whose values are not aligned with yours, it's okay to let them go even if they're very attractive physically in all the ways you'd want them to be. Because when somebody's values are not aligned with yours, it doesn't matter how beautiful they are, at the end of the day, that physical beauty, that physical appearance is going to be overshadowed by the conflict that you'll be having between the values that you two uphold. For example, when you had known her three or four years ago, this was the type of girl that would love to go clubbing every weekend, spend time with as many people as possible as she can have around her. But now she only has a few people that she loves. Now she only goes to a few events that she's very, very passionate about compared to uh, back then when you knew her earlier. And let's say you're at the same place in your life where you're very focused on your career, you're very focused on just spending time, quality time with the people that mean a lot to you, you'll find that um, you two will be drawn to each other a little bit better. Let's say during that time she went out there, she traveled, she explored the world, uh, she went to a few different countries and uh, she, her experience in life is richer at this point. And you had the same likes, you had the same um, hobbies uh, of traveling, of photography, of culture, of immersing yourselves in learning different languages. And you end up meeting at this time, you two have again, these values that align with each other and you'll find yourselves being drawn to each other in a very strong way compared to how things were in the past where there was not even a single feeling, there was not even a single desire to want to be with this person. This shows us that when somebody's given time to grow and explore and learn and be and actually own and become the values that they have, it will actually be very, very appealing to us when we meet them, even if it's five, three years later, go about your life, embody the things that you love doing, be the type of person that you'll be proud of five, 10, 20 years from now and live the life in your own ways, the way you'd want to live it because at some point, you will grow, you will morph into the person that you have to be and somebody else who shares the same values as you do, who would rather stay in on a Saturday night than go get wasted, will see that, will see the things that you are, will see the person that you are at the time and love the shit out of you. If the timing is not right, respect that, move on. And that is what I wanted to bring out in this video where timing can be everything. The person that you might have known a few years ago and you didn't have a single feeling for them might be the same person that blows your mind away that you can't wait to want to spend time with, to want to talk to, to want to listen to uh, whatever is going on in their lives. So if it doesn't work out right now, it doesn't really matter. So until next time, I'll talk to you guys in another one. Bye-bye.